My name is Mark Principato. I'm the director of the Forex and Futures program here at SMBU. Today I want to talk about the Euro Dollar Forex pair. We have some new bullish price action that I want to present and see how this can lead to opportunities in the near future. So as you'll notice, we have a four hour chart. On this chart, the first point I want to make is we have a higher high. We've gone through the 38 even resistance zone. All right, we had a zone between 38 even and 39.20. We're clearly through that. Not only that, but we also have a higher low, as you can see marked by the letters HL. We have this higher low, which confirms the recent breakout. Now, this is very important information. This confirms the larger bullish trend, which we've been observing for some time. As we approached this resistance, there were some possibilities for shorts, but this has changed. So now, as we move forward, these are the opportunities that I'm going to be looking for in this pair. Over the next 10 days, I'm going to be watching for the euro dollar to pull back into these support areas. Support one, which is the 1.3796, or basically 38 even area, which is the old resistance, new support. Or if it goes below that, we can possibly see some buying opportunities at support two, which is the 137.50 area. Now, if the price pushes below these areas with any kind of conviction or significance, then I would hold off on these types of longs. The types of long potential, or I should say the type of long potential I'm looking for are day trading long opportunities. That's different from scalping or swing trading. Day trading means I'm looking to buy and hold for possibly the day, maybe a few hours. Typically, you're looking at 30 to 50 pip profit targets once you find validation in these support zones. So the third point I want to make is when we're in a situation like this, when we have a clearly strong market, we want to avoid shorts, especially bigger picture shorts. So at these levels, even though we're still in this resistance zone, we haven't broken out of the zone, but there is plenty of evidence that suggests we're going to continue higher. I would stay away from any large potential shorts, and I would stay away from day trading shorts as well. If you're interested in any shorts, I would look scalping only, which is very small potential, and I would wait for more structure before that even happened. But to keep things simple, just avoid shorts. You're doing yourself a favor. All right, so just to reiterate, I'm watching for buying opportunities on the next retracement. This can happen over five to 10 days. Watch for validation in those zones. If you're not sure what validation is, check out my webpage. I have the link here right on the chart. Go to that site and you can learn more about how we conduct this type of analysis. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. My name is Mark Principato, and I'm the director of the Forex and Futures training program here at SMBU. If you would like to learn more about the methodology that we use to conduct analysis or employ in our trading, please visit my webpage. Also, make sure to sign up for my free ebook to learn more about how the Forex business works. I hope to see you in my next class. Thank you.